What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix ERR no launcher please run GTA 5 using the Rockstar game launcher and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get it to a step one by one. So the first one is all about if you go over here on a Rockstar games launcher if you open it you'll be having two options by default either you have to launch the game on the Epic Games launcher or you might be having the option to play it on the Steam. Like this, I'm going to demonstrate to you. Just wait. Over here, as you can see, an option is there for play on Steam and you have to click on the play on Steam and you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not. So after you are done with this one, if you just do that, it's going to take you to the Steam because I'm having the game on the Steam and launch the game and you have to check. So afterwards, if you're having the trouble with this, then you just need to follow the instruction. Next one is all about, just go over here. That is all about, we just need to go over here to the file explorer, go to this PC and go to the game install, install directory. So in my case, it is E, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Now from here, find Grand Theft Auto 5. Now from here, you can see there are two things. One is GTA 5 and also we are having another one called Play GTA 5. So right click on this one and go to the show more options, properties, go to the compatibility. If this is checked, you have to uncheck this and put a check on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Similarly, go at the top and if you find the GTA 5, do the same. Show more options, properties, compatibility, uncheck this, put a run this program as an administrator. Go for OK and you have to check. Once afterwards, you have to check with the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, we just need to go over here search for the run command and press enter just type ncpa.cpl and go for ok and once afterwards select the wi-fi that is already connected okay so you have to sorry not ncpa what we need to do is just go over here search for the run command and press enter you have to type app viz.cpl and press enter and right now if you find the grand theft auto right click over here and go for uninstall it afterwards just go back to the steam Right click on the game, go to the properties. Now from here, go to the installed file and verify the game file, which is going to take a little bit of time. So once the verify integrity of game file is done, launch the game and you have to check. Next one is all about just go over here, search for the run command and press enter. This time we need to type services.mse and press enter. And right now, just go over here and search for automat, sorry, programs. You have to search for Programs, Compatibility, Assistant Service, right click, go to the properties. Now make sure this is automatic and make sure if the service status is stopped, you have to start. Go for apply and go for OK. Right click on this one, go for restart. Once you successfully restart is done, just close everything and launch the game and you have to check. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.